Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. D'Angelo Russell drops three-word reaction to Austin Reeves after Lakers beat Bucks. The Los Angeles Lakers overcame a 19-point deficit in the fourth quarter to stun the Milwaukee Bucks, beating them 128-124 to in double overtime. They were co-piloted by Anthony Davis and Austin Reeves in their comeback efforts, with the latter drawing an explicit reaction from teammate D'Angelo Russell on social media in the aftermath. Austin F. Asterisk 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 Reeves, Russell posted on X on March 26. Reeves finished with a 29-point, 14-rebound, 10-assist triple-double, the second of his career, adding a pair of blocks and just one turnover. He tied Davis with 16 points in the fourth quarter and both overtime frames, shooting 50% from the floor and logging eight of his boards and five of his assists in those periods. It was Reeves who led the way with nine points in the extra time. He also hit the go-ahead bucket that sealed the victory. There's two things you can do, you can fold and go on to Memphis tomorrow, or you can man up and face the challenge head-on, Reeves said during his walk-off interview. To be honest with you, I feel a lot better at that point in the game than I did earlier in the game. Legs were heavy early. We got off to a horrible start. The Bucks outscored the Lakers 32-16 in the first quarter. We couldn't find any momentum anywhere in the game, Reeves said. We just kept plugging away. At that point, adrenaline takes over and I felt great. Reeves was a respectable 4 for 11 from beyond the arc. But he also drew praise from fans for his defensive efforts against Bucks star Damian Lillard. Lillard finished with 27 points, but he shot 31% from the floor and went 3 for 14 from downtown. Davis finished with 34 points, 23 rebounds, 4 blocks, 2 assists, and 2 steals in 52 minutes. That is the most minutes by any Laker since Kobe Bryant in 2012. Asked how Davis's effort motivated the Lakers, Reeves was candid. He stayed in the game. I know he's hurting, Reeves said. Every time out, even when we were shooting free throws down there, he was in the corner down here. And his trainer was just working on him. That's just another mind over matter type of thing. He wanted to continue to go to battle with us. Anytime he's on the court, regardless of if he's not scoring, if he's scoring, rebounding, whatever he's doing, he's making an impact. That Davis was banged up during the game certainly underscores the feat Davis and Reeves' respective efforts came at a crucial time with the Lakers down LeBron James for the contest. He was ruled out with soreness from the ankle injury that has kept him on the injury report all season. James' status for the tilt against Memphis is still up in the air, per head coach Darvin Ham, who also praised the team's collective effort on the night. The Lakers are 2.0 games back of the Sacramento Kings and Phoenix Suns for 7th and 8th place, respectively, in the Western Conference standings. Both rivals suffered losses in their last outings. LA's four-game run is tied with the Denver Nuggets for the third-longest winning streak in the West behind the surging Houston Rockets, nine games, and Dallas Mavericks, five games. The Golden State Warriors, who won their last contest, remain 2.5 games behind the Lakers. Lakers starting to look like contenders as stretch run begins. The shorthanded Los Angeles Lakers pulled off what might have been their best win of the season Tuesday night. With LeBron James watching from the bench, the Lakers overcame a 19-point fourth-quarter deficit to score a 128-124 double overtime road win over the Milwaukee Bucks. It was the latest in a line of performances that has seen Los Angeles looking increasingly dangerous as the postseason approaches. When Damian Lillard hit a pull-up jumper with 8.25 left in the game to put the Bucks up 94-75, it looked like curtains for the Lakers things suddenly flipped. Led by Anthony Davis, Austin Reeves, and D'Angelo Russell, the Lakers went on a 26-7 run to end regulation and send the game into overtime. 
Both teams looked exhausted as the first extra five minutes went back and forth. Russell hit two free throws with three seconds remaining to tie things up at 117 to 117 and send it to a second overtime. Neither team scored in the first three minutes of the second extra frame, but Reeves stepped up with two big buckets, and Russell hit two free throws to close out the unlikely victory. Davis was an iron man, as he played a career-high 52 minutes and poured in 34 points while grabbing 23 rebounds and blocking four shots. Reeves scored 29 points while notching a triple-double with 14 rebounds and 10 assists, while Russell also had 29 points to go along with 12 assists and 7 rebounds in 50 minutes. Beating a really good Bucks team like that on the road should put the rest of the NBA on notice, the Lakers are for real. Los Angeles now has a four-game winning streak, its longest of the season, and has wins in six of its last eight contests. Those six wins have all come over teams likely to be in the playoffs. The Lakers are currently 40-32 and 9th in the Western Conference. That means they're likely to be in the play-in tournament for the second year in a row. In 2023, that didn't matter much as LA marched to the Western Conference Finals as the number 7 seed. A repeat of that path isn't hard to imagine. It took the Lakers a long time to find their footing this season. After a loss to the Clippers on January 23, their record sat at 22-23. Since then, they have gone 18-9 and are playing like one of the league's best teams. While James missed Tuesday's game with a nagging ankle injury, he and Davis have largely stayed healthy this season. When on the court, they have been the dominant duo everyone expects. James is averaging 25.4 points, 8.1 assists and 7.2 rebounds per game, while Davis is racking up 24.6 points, 12.5 rebounds, 3.6 assists and 2.4 blocks per game. But the Lakers' other pieces have stepped up to give James and Davis legit options around them. Russell has been playing excellent basketball since the All-Star break. In the Lakers' last 15 games, he's averaging 20.6 points and 6.7 assists in 36.4 minutes per game, while shooting 43.8 from three-point range. Reeves has also stepped up since the break, averaging 17.1 points, 6.0 assists and 5.5 rebounds while knocking down 41.2% of his shots from beyond the arc. Both players give the Los Angeles dangerous weapons on the perimeter to take pressure off of James and Davis. Rue Hakimura, Torian Prince, and Spencer Dinwiddie all add toughness and perimeter shooting as well. The Lakers are hitting their stride at the right time and the rest of the NBA should take notice of what they did Tuesday night. When fully healthy and at their best, they are as dangerous as any team in the league. LeBron James' viral Giannis Antetokounmpo countdown has Lakers fans laughing. Giannis Antetokounmpo has gotten a lot of raised eyebrows for his free-throw routine. One would think that he got better shooting advice since the Milwaukee Bucks have good shooters like Damian Lillard, Brooke Lopez, and Chris Middleton. That is not at all the case, which makes him getting clowned a very normal occurrence on a nightly basis. The latest individuals who did that to him were LeBron James and the rest of the Anthony Davis-led Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron James started counting the seconds during Giannis Antetokounmpo's free-throw routine. The Bucks star may have heard the Lakers players' screams, which may have affected his mental for a bit. Not to mention, they were down up by quite a lot at one point but blew the lead. LeBron James was not the only one having fun while watching Giannis Antetokounmpo take so long in the charity stripe. Other members of the Lakers' faithful and avid basketball fans also started to troll the Bucks legend. Haha, <laughs> LeBron James was counting how many seconds it took for Giannis Antetokounmpo to shoot a free throw. Giannis missed both court, side heat wrote. Some fans were just flat-out annoyed by the Bucks star taking too long, by the way Giannis' stupid free-throw routine is getting out of hand, one person, one descent shooting coach to give him one good fucking advice and stick with it instead of doing the stupid 10-second delays and then missing them. 
Other spectators were even keen on saying that the Bucks star lost his clutch gene against the Lakers, Giannis never been a closer, and that's okay because players have roles for this exact reason, plus a big reason why he doesn't because his free throw shooting. Antetokounmpo still managed to get 29 points, despite only knocking down one out of his six free throw attempts. But, none of that mattered because Anthony Davis lit up on the court. The Lakers' big man led the team with a massive 34-point and 23-rebound double-double in a statement win. Hopefully, the Lakers' ascent to the playoff ladder won't take as long as a certain player's free-throw routine. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Giannis Antetokounmpo? Leave your opinion in the comments.